Corrion will sit and be that playmaker underneath with Diego Lainez, the 23-year-old, coming in on that left-hand side. Quinones, yeah, Jamiro Montero comes in alongside Jackson Yule and in front of Carlos Grueso. But with a week's preparation, not a lot of surprises. Offensive threat caliber type of players for Luchi Gonzalez to look down his substitute spencer. Marco De Oliveira, your lead official. He is with the pro referees. This is his League's Cup debut. Guido Gonzalez Jr. running VAR. San Jose continue to find some good spots. Trauco give and go with Yule. Trauco feels a back. Espinosa centers, fires, and misses. It's the backboards. And as this ball comes out, great stuff from Trauco. Espinosa opens up his hips. Rafa Carioca is with them, but this looks like it is Gignac's free kick. It is over the wall, over the crossbar. Started both games here in League's Cup. Well, I think also it's the salary budget, or salary cap, if you will. That takes a big hit for San Jose. How about that? Samiri, the center back, trying to pinpoint a ball through for Quinones. Goriadan, Gignac. Where Dignes are very dangerous inside the area. Quinones separates. Shot. Goal. Fernando Goriaran. 19th minute. The Uruguayan makes San Jose's job even more difficult. He picks up possession, tries to dribble himself out of pressure, and look at the goal scorer. Gorion just picks his pocket, gets his head up, finds Gignac, keep an eye on the run, and delays. Quinones isolated 1v1 with that perfect left foot. He likes to go right foot, and it's just a cutback ball past the top of the six-yard box. Gorion, he continues his run, he slows himself down. Rodriguez checks him once, doesn't check him twice. Right place, right time, far post. What a fantastic goal this is from Gorion, and a great start for this game for Tigres. Up 1-0, 20 minutes in. Trauco, Beeson, blind ball, but a good one in for Cal. Too hot to handle, though. Miss hit there by Aquino. Ebobasi. Montero's ball is through, unmarked to Capo! Has to put that on goal, has to. It's my bad, but these are the difference. These are the moments that San Jose needs to capitalize on. Simple possession, wide service, not a lot of pressure. He's completely unmarked at the back door. And immediately, hands go to head as he pushes it wide with the inside of his right foot. Maybe Acapa was caught in between two ideas to possibly head the ball, and the ball drifted. Had to use the right foot. Look out here, Quinones wide open. Gignac positions at the back of the 18. Fires! Save Daniel. Oh, it starts on that left-hand side. Big switch over to the right, Quinones as he looks to get an isolated 1v1 like he did with the assist for the opening goal. Shimmies, shakes. You look at players like Carioca and Pisado and Gignac and Quinones that signed with Tigres seven, eight, nine years ago. They've all been major hits and continue to produce in their mid-30s. That one's fallen in front. Another stab at it from Montedo. The ball by Espinosa. He pulls up looking in hopes of the referee who's going to blow the foul. Oh, clean from above the seat. Cal drives Guzman. Well, the advantage was played by the referee to Kate Cal get an uncontested shot off. Go, go. Half number two begins San Jose in blue. No changes to their 11. We mentioned the Vigon, and we are sure we'll see more substitutions from that loaded bench. Mexican internationals. See what you have to think about it. Short ball, Goriadan, Quinones, Linus. Goriadan in a sweet spot, and he got Gignac, who goes softly into Daniel. Well, the size and aerial presence of Gignac make it really. Rodriguez, or in the Liga MX, I should say, as Quinones gets to the end, still in play. Bisa came back early. What a block by Rodriguez. Looked like Goriadan had number two earmarked. He'll go all the way back, Rodriguez. I don't know if that ball stays on goal or if it hits that right post, but it comes off his right thigh as he drops back in. More numbers, more bodies going forward. But Max, I remember Ziggy Schmidt once said, you can tell me who to bring on, but tell me who to take off. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good question. Linus. And the interesting one is Akinola. Who does he come in? You would imagine yeah. one of the front three, but who interwoven with? 
Grueso, man, he can hit a ball. Capo. Well, even for the MLS after darks. Obasi into Guzman that had some venom on it and off his left boot. Espinosa chested down. Cow! Now is looking at Cordova and Lorona coming on. We said it ago. If you're bringing Akinola, who do you take out? And maybe he said, I don't want to take out any one of those three. They're all being productive. That one skips through. Figon! Quinones! He's got Quinones on his right, plays him here. Quinones eludes a couple earthquakes. Quinones lights it up! On the way in, watch. He gets away from Tanner Beast. He gets away from Grueso. Opens up and no immediate pressure. Why not? You can see the idea is trying to pick out that upper left hand corner, but you gotta figure out ways to be strong. Tenth corner kick of the night for San Jose. Oh, it's hit it nicely by a capo. Opportunity for Nahuel Guzman to have his say at some point. Get out the cameras. That's a one handed save. It's a little Statue of Liberty there. A little big old bear claw. He brings it down, puts it in the bread basket. Just when you thought a capo might have pulled one back and leveled the scoreline. Look at that. That's going to be put on hold as he is here in MLS. Thompson. Good first touch back out, Marie. Thompson! At the very least, you'd like to see the Earthquakes get a payoff for all. Just one of a number of players for the San Jose Earthquakes that the quality of the final product just not there. Final seconds of this group. Some great middle of the week games coming your way. But the San Jose Earthquakes are going to shut it down for three weeks.